It is the season for pumpkin flavored everything. You got pumpkin spice lattes, breads, pies abound. Pies, you got me there. But <laughs> for the true squash lover, there's nothing better than digging into your very own pumpkin. Joining us live with ideas to incorporate squash into your life is fitness expert Omar Bliss. Nice to see you, Omar. Nice as to always. see you. It's been a while. Here yeah, we are. Here we are. We're back. <laughs> yes. All right, let's talk about squash. It yeah. is packed with vitamins, antioxidants, and it can really improve your, your skin. Skin and your eye health? Absolutely. Plus, it's high in fiber. And we all, especially if you're used to getting stuff on the go, you really need that fiber. And so, one of the big things um, that a lot of nutritionists and people in health are pushing is seasonal vegetables. Squash is perfect for the fall. And what you go to your grocery store, you're going to see a whole bin full of like butternut squash and acorn squash. Mm -hmm. So, perfect time to just get into those, those flavors and those health benefits. Yeah, you mentioned obviously that's a butternut squash, but yes. you have the acorn squash. I mean, yes, there's like a big bin, and sometimes you're like, I've never seen anything like this. Right. So all of them, I mean, you can cook with all of them? You can cook with all of them. I find butternut squash to be one of the easiest to cook with because you can bake it, you can fry it, you can make a smoothie, which these are like the three examples of things that you can do. And of course, there's a plethora of other things that you can do. If you research squash dishes, you'll get a bunch of stuff coming at you. Sure. So, yeah. Okay, um, so as far as your dishes, we're going to start first with the roasted squash with gnocchi right gnocchi. here in, in yes. the middle. Gnocchi. So this is like squash made three ways kind of so thing? So this is actually a really easy dish. And when I discovered it, um, well, I should say my wife discovered it, and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Um, basically, you just cut up squash. You're adding spicy Italian sausage. You don't have to if you don't want to. If mm -hmm. you want to make this more vegetarian, take the sausage out. Mm -hmm. And then olive oil and fresh rosemary, you shove it in the oven, bake at like 350, maybe 375 for 15 minutes until you see a little bit of a crust form. The gnocchi, you don't even have to boil. You just toss it right in there in the olive oil. It's like a one pan dish and you boom. You toss the gnocchi in the oven? In the oven. Okay. Yeah, so the gnocchi, the squash, the Italian sausage, Everything. the rosemary, all mixed in that olive oil and just spread across a sheet and bake. Oh, it's wow. as easy as it gets. Yeah. Add a little okay. Parmesan on top and boom. That's your that's your meal for the evening. And for people who don't know, gnocchi is like a potato it's pasta. It's a potato pasta. So benefit to that if you can't do a lot of pasta. This is a great substitute. Sure. Okay. Uh, next up, I neither of us had ever heard of this or no, thought about huh. this. This is tempura squash. Yes. So okay. if you ever go to a sushi right. restaurant, what you'll see is you'll see the squash, but most people don't go for the squash. They go for the onions and the carrots and the shrimp. So this is something that's very common in sushi. Tempura batter is easy. Mm -hmm. Fourth cup of uh, cornstarch three-fourths flour, cold water, and an egg. That's your tempura batter. That's Regular it. oil, fry for five minutes, and then that's it. So you just like cut like kind of slices? Thin slices, okay. so not thick slices. You, I would say like, you know, yeah. um, a fourth inch thick okay. at absolute most. Okay. Okay, and it's not a heavy batter, so that's that oh, makes no. it that makes yeah. it healthy. No. Yeah. It's light, it's crisp. Um, if you like sort of that um, tempura battering, if you've ever been to Asian restaurants or sushi restaurants, same exact batter. Right. You might get to get your fried fix too there without it being not super yes. unhealthy. And it's, you know, if you kind of want that little. If you want a little crisp, yeah. but you want something that's light, this is a perfect. Mm perfect thing and these two actually can pair well Ooh. especially if you like the flavor of more robust spicy and then something that's a little bit cleaner they're a good match cool okay yeah. uh, now for those of you who like a good smoothie you can actually incorporate squash into maybe a smoothie you make for breakfast or in the afternoon it doesn't have to be morning it doesn't have to be morning and this is actually an interesting smoothie now one thing I will say is depending on how sweet you want something this is not going to be that sweet so I might suggest adding a little agave um, or honey to it to, to kick up the sweetness, okay. especially if you like things that are sweet. But pretty simple, you're getting your canned coconut milk, your full fat coconut milk, you're getting frozen um, butternut squash okay. from, you can find it at most freezers, they'll have it already chunked and ready to go, and then banana. 
a little cold water, blend. Pop it That's in this it. Thing? Yeah, pop yeah. it right in there and blend. That was going to be my question. I mean, I love butternut squash. Right. And I love all squashes, but the process of peeling it, cutting it, yes. getting the seeds out is somewhat mm -hmm. tedious. Just a little. So it's good to go. You're, the frozen stuff is okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The biggest thing is, okay, we want to eat healthy, but if you got kids and yeah. you got all the stuff going on and you got like 20 minutes, you're not going to sit there and dig through a squash and then meticulously yes. cut <laughs> yes. it. So no. really find things that okay. can work for you. Frozen squash, it's in every freezer section. If you're at Target or Lunds or any of those bigger chain stores, you're going to find that in the freezer. Literally, I took it out the bag, poured it right in the blender, added my hmm. other stuff, hit puree and then boom like five minutes I had my smoothie awesome add some yeah. honey maybe some cinnamons whatever kind there of spices. is already a little bit of cinnamon mm. a little bit of nutmeg a little bit of clove so that's go already ahead. in there it? yeah go ahead but the big difference is it's not gonna have that sweetness you're gonna taste some of the creaminess Ooh. from the banana yeah. so if you don't like a uh, if you really don't like a sweet smoothie this is gonna be your jam That's really good yeah because and what's great about it again mm. you're getting that butternut squash so if you're not a veggie eater or your kids aren't a veggie eater here you can sneak it in sneak it in all right sneak it in you did as well thanks Omar Spoken always like a true you. father sneak in the vegetables <laughs> yeah. and true. you could get more great fitness tips on his Instagram probably some recipe ideas too at Omar Bliss and